guys welcome back it is time for another stitch with me whip and chat whatever you want to call it so grab projects grab a drink i'm working on my mini the amazing animal kingdom for kelly i'm still behind so i'm trying to throw a load of stitches in this week i don't know how well i've actually done it you know trying to catch up but oops so how have you guys been this week i hope you're all safe well and crafting plenty I'm trying to, in between housework and Ellie, and just the usual. Mind you, I have to say this week, this past week, she's been a lot better. She's only got half a cast now, so managing, you know, to get herself up and around is easier. It's not as heavy for a start. And being as the um, pressure saw has been padded and bandaged and whatever, there's been no complaint from her whatsoever. She's fell asleep as soon as she's gone to bed. And I've not heard her at all, so all is looking good. They're just going to see her in three weeks. Well, it's two weeks now. As they said last Tuesday, three weeks. So I've got to take her back on the 28th. Fingers crossed the x-ray comes back okay and they take the cast off. Fingers crossed. She's not loving the tins of power and injection, uh, injections, but to be fair with her, she's just adapted to them. We have a little thing beforehand where she'll go no 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 wait 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 <laughs> she'll, she'll hold my hand and make me wait she says it, it's not it's not the going in that bothers her it's the suspension before knowing that it's going to go in but she's doing well she's so far got six um pin <laughs> needle holes on her belly because we have to do them uh, we have to alternate sides every day, she said. So it was left yesterday, right this morning. And then, like, you have to um, zigzag the injections as well. So they're not in exactly the same spot as the one two days before. So, and like she said to me this morning, well, that's six down. <laughs> I think it's actually seven early because she gave you one last Tuesday and we're on Tuesday. Yeah. Where am I going? The weather here at the moment is absolutely blistering. I'm suffering while doing the video because I have to shut the front room door so there's no breeze through from the back door to the open window right behind me. So while I make these videos, I am roasting. And why am I missing some? I have no idea. That's a bit odd. I'm only missing two, I think. Okay, we'll work it from there. I 
I've spent the last two days walking around the house picking up huge chunks of cat fur. We think it's down to stress. It's all from Luna. Um, I'd already gone up um, the other evening. I was sitting upstairs doing what I do on my phone, you know, before bed. Riley was in there with me. And all of a sudden we heard this massive, massive cat scream. You know, as they do when they fight. So... Me knowing that Luna was probably outside because Rob lets her out before he comes up. Bombed down the stairs without having an accident like. And Luna's there at the side of the shed. And I just see a cat's bum going over the gate. So she'd had a, a sort of fight with another cat. And I think that stressed her out because the last two days she has just been shedding chunks of fur I mean she was um, lacking in fur when we got her because she's a rescue and I'm thinking it's just she's got stressed from having that fight and it will settle down fingers crossed it's unusual really there's not many cats that come in our back garden I always see, see Binks coming back in with um, war wounds on his face and his ears. and But not Luna. So yeah, eventful. Oops, put that in the wrong place. I still haven't heard back from the council about what's going to happen next. You know, just leave people in suspense. That's no good for my stress levels. Okay. Almost. That one. I was trying on Sunday evening. I managed to finish my uh, Once Upon a Fairy Tale. I did the 500 stitches in the evening. I told you I would. And I went onto Facebook to Magical Stitches to try and post my pictures. Because I'd already saved the post and, you know, done my usual starting post. And then what happens is you add your pictures to it afterwards. And when I, when I hit reply, and it just it went onto the reply screen, but... It just kept, I don't know, refreshing or something. It wasn't working, but I wasn't the only one. There was um, a post put up about it that it was having trouble. So, But I'm not going to complain, purely because one of the tasks this week for bonus stitches, well, last week, for bonus stitches was to take a picture of your stitchy spot and rate it for cleanliness between 0 and 5. I took a picture, well, it would have got a minus five because it just needs a good tidy up. So I'm kind of glad in a way no one gets to see my stitchy mess. Oops. Where am I? Yep. It's so warm. It's uh, 25 degrees in here at the minute. And that's rising purely because I've got the door shut. <clears throat> One second. Apologise, I needed a drink. Have any of you guys ever suffered with something called restless legs? 
at night time. I do, not too often, fortunately, but um, not last night, the night before. Oh, my days. I have never, ever, ever had it in my arms before. I did that night. Holy moly. It was gone one in the morning before I think I actually fell asleep. Oh, it was driving me insane. It was like I was just dozing off and then, you know, it just sort of kicked in. And I'd have to move them. Oh, it's awful. I think I'd rather suffer with it in the legs than the arms. At least with the legs, you can kind of, you know, keep them moving in bed. Your arms, not so. But that was awful. Oh. Getting down to the last bit of thread, that's why. One thing I do love about like summertime, we're not quite in summertime yet, but we're very, very close is the birds, especially where I live, they kind of echo around the back because of like the, the loading bay for the shops right behind us. So it sort of echoes and you can sit here some days with the windows open and it's lovely to listen to. Luna likes it especially, she sits in the window. So, have you guys got any plans for summer? I think it's, it's quite obvious we haven't. Um, Tyler got um, questioned by someone on his paper in the other day. He said, have you not, have you finished school now? He said, no, I haven't been. Oh, right, he asked why, like, just he said, my parents don't believe it's safe enough for me to go back to school yet. And he said, what about the vaccine? He said, no, they don't want it. And apparently he was quite rude. And he turned around to Tyler and said, um, I haven't got time for people like that. They drain the NHS. Hmm. Well, luckily for me, we don't go anywhere. So the chance of me catching Corona is smaller than him catching it. Okay, we're up here. But, you know, I don't judge anyone who's had the uh, vaccine. They have the right to their own opinion. If they think that's what is good for them, then I support that. You have to do what you believe is right by you. And at the moment, I am not willing to take a vaccine. I'm not against the vaccine, don't get me wrong. I just... There's just too much evidence that they missed vital steps during the vaccine testing process. And it doesn't stop you catching the virus. But I'm not going to talk anymore about that. Let's talk something else. I've lost myself now. So this is what you get for waffling. <laughs> Okay, that's in there that I need to drop. I 
Aha, uh -huh, there it is. Do you know, sometimes it's funny. I can't, even though I'm like pretty close to the area where I'm looking, I can never seem to find a stitch when I've got to jump a little bit. It's weird. Um, one of my subscribers, Abra, left me a comment. She was going to go and try two-handed stitching. So she got her scroll frame and everything set up. And then in the end, she just couldn't do it. But I will say, if you've never tried two-handed stitching, it is hard. It's weird at first. Not hard, but weird. Because you're used to just holding it in your left and you know, pushing the needle through, pulling it out, pushing the needle through with your right. And it does take a bit of getting used to. So I wouldn't say try it once and if you can't get on with it, don't do it. You know, it's perseverance. I'm glad I do because I get more stitches in. So Abra, persevere. Give it a few goes. It isn't for everyone. I will admit it isn't for everyone. So, you know, give it a few tries, and if you still don't like it, then you know. It isn't for you. Oh, these are in the wrong place. Oh, dear. They were supposed to be level with those. Whoops. Something I have to alter. How? Okay, let's move over. I think I'll do a few stitches on this. By a few, I mean probably a couple of hundred. And then I'm going to move on. Because the magical stitching this week is easy. It's just because of um, the mess up on Facebook. It's not letting anyone post or anything. So they've said just pick an old post that like, was your favourite. Your favourite prompt. And then stitch a thousand stitches on that so that'll be easy and I might just go and do my fairy tale again for that one although I shouldn't something on the fabric uh, just because I said I was going to alternate weekends on them, stitch on my others in the week and then, because they're so big, work on them for the weekend. Um, so I shouldn't work on it in the week, but sometimes it just calls to you, doesn't it? I got a nut. Forgive me, guys. I'm just trying to undo it. Oh, the sun's starting to come through the blinds. Oh. I hate nuts. Oh, 
really. Oops. I'm nearly there as well. Come on. Sorry about my arm, guys. There we go. Got there in the end. I think I need to tip you just a little bit. That way. There we go. So you don't end up like trying to see me go off screen. I've done that one. So I'm going to turn these blinds a notch. No, I'm going wrong way. That's better. My head's not burning now. Where am I? Alrighty then. So here. I need to get out my uh, mirabilia as well. I haven't had her out since I came in started her. Uh. I think I had her out once after the initial day of starting and that was it. Okay. Oh no. I've done it again. can't pull my arm up like I normally do because you guys are sitting there <laughs> just make for some awkward stitching so we have to pull across instead of pulling up why did I do that I did two and then went back and finished them. I supposed to do four. Nope, five. I have also, I got my crochet hooks out yesterday. So proud of myself. Not for my blanket either. Um, I showed ages and ages ago I showed um, like a my motorcycle jacket style crochet jacket and like you can put the um, the eye are they iron on or I'm not I sew them on anyway but you know like the Harley logo I'm not sure what they call them yeah anyway I started one of those yesterday and I'm doing the 12 to 18 month size for my grandson. I was meant to have started it ages ago, but you know, with everything going on, it kind of got forgotten. And as I was going through my stuff last night, because I was looking for something specific, I came across that and I was like, ah, don't you always find that though? You're looking for something else and then you spot something that you're supposed to have done ages ago. <sighs> oh well. It'll be one in October, so. And my, has that gone really quick. He recognises me, bless him. We saw video chat me. And we'll be on video call for a while and I'll just speak to him and he always, always smiles at me. He's got a beautiful little smile. He's got two teeth, two little bottom teeth. And I said to Reese, you'll regret one day putting you, letting him bite your fingers when his teeth come through. Yeah, he doesn't do it anymore. He said, no, I don't do that no more. He's chomping on everything and he loves his food apparently. He loves, loves, loves his food. Takes after his dad. I, we used to joke that Reese had worms because he could just eat and eat and eat and eat and eat. And it was like he was never, he never felt full. I've done it again. Oh, nuts. Yeah, he, he, I don't think he ever really felt full. 
So we used to joke that he'd got worms. He hadn't. But, you know. And you can tell, like, he's not like a teenager anymore. Because he's actually starting to put weight on from what he's eating. He's got a proper little belly now. We are on about my son here, not, you know, not Logan. <laughs> but he used to tuck his food away, something chronic. And he had a very sweet tooth, which, sad to say, he gets from me. Oops. I keep knocking you guys, but I'm hoping you can't see it because you're actually attached to the frame that I'm knocking, so... When that moves, you move. So hopefully you won't see any movement. Don't want to make you sick, like. Oh, Tyler, bless him. The other day he said to me, Mom, if I give you a pair of my pyjama trousers, can you turn them into pyjama shorts? He's not a fan of pyjama trousers, but that's what his gran always buys him. So I said, yeah, OK, whatever. So he gives me his pair of trousers. I cut them. I sew them. I give them back to him. He puts them on and he's frowning. Uh, he takes them off. Mum, I gave you the wrong pair. These are Riley's. Wow, Tyler, wow. That was funny. He still hasn't found his pair, so I've still yet to turn them into shorts. Oh yeah, it's gone 26 in here now. Told you with the door shut, it creeps up. So I'm not going to keep you guys much longer so I can crank that door back open. Get the breeze in the front room. So the sun's on my front room all day. From about, I think, 11 o'clock in the morning. And it'll be there until the sun sets because it sets right over... Well, there's nothing for it to go behind. There's no buildings in the way. So, we get the sun until the very last thing. Three. So, yeah, my front room, as you can imagine, it gets extremely hot. But then when you walk in the kitchen, it's like really nice and cool. Okay. So it only gets the sun from when it rises to, yeah, about half ten. It kind of goes from the kitchen shortly before it makes its way around to my front room. Where am I? Is that right? Yep. Yeah. Oops. Why is it sometimes you catch your thread and you pull it a bit too tight just that once and then it just messes up your stitch? Alright guys, I'm going to let you go because it is unreal in here.
So, as always, thank you for watching. Take care, stay safe, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye, guys.